We're playing the, the encounter mission, so both deployed up to a foot on. Obviously, these scout cars over here did the spearhead move, which has pushed these German reconnaissance battalion, though, right? Yep. This is what we do. Um, we put our objectives on, so in the alternating deployment, um, I, I had more units, so I was able to really pump out this flank once I knew where Mike had put his final platoon. Do you want to give him a tour of your forces? Yep, so coming up the road, we've got one armoured rifle platoon with the command in their jeeps. The three 80 centimetre, 80 millimetre mortars are behind the farmhouse, ready to be ranged in, and a, another platoon of armoured rifle getting sat on one objective. So off the table, you've still got your Scots, another mounted platoon, and the anti-tank anti -tank guns. guns, yep. All right, okay. And for the Germans on the table, you've seen we've got the field guns back here, the 105s, mortars here, command team, scout cars with the 2 centimetre, and the scout cars with the 7.5 centimetre. These have got mounted infantry aboard. Off the table is the, the one-foot platoon and the four Panzer IVs. Uh, as the attacker... Uh, no, both of us have got scattered and delayed reserves, so we're going to have to make do with what we've got. It is a meeting engagement, so I can't just move it anyway, so my two batteries of artillery are really useful here. Let's crack on with round one. Well, well, bing, bing, round one, sir. So, uh, I'm the attacker, so I've got the advantage. I've got the advantage as well as the initiative. Yep. Um, so, take us through the steps, Mike. There's Flames of War's got a sequence, right? Yep. So, remount bowed out tanks. No, no, none of that. Rally any pin down. None of them. Check last stand. I'm still here. Check last uh, formation. All beautiful. Reveal ambushes. None of that. Roll for reserves. Right. Roll for aircraft. We've got scat deep delayed scattered reserves, so not, none of that right, either. Yeah. Right. And remove friendly markers. Okay. Movement phase. Yep. <laughs> right then. Movement phase. I have got my... Uh, Panzer Grenadiers, and I need to make a cross check. And I'm just should have been ready for this, shouldn't I? Uh, so they have a cross of four up, so that's not beautiful. That is not beautiful. The 7.5 gun section has got a halted. I count as moving anyway. So what I'm going to do, uh, three cars in front are going to try and move. They're going to move up. They're going to move up. Right, they're going to move up here, move, move, move. So they can shoot over the cover, and I reckon we can all shoot at that one. Yep. Which doesn't have cover. I've then got my five cars behind, though. They do need to make a cross check. So, the, did infantry have to get out before you moved, did you say? Yes. When you checked that. Hmm. Yeah. So I would have to get my infantry out of the cars. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? You have a lot of machine guns. I'm not going to get my infantry out of the cars. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to regret this. Four vehicles, five vehicles trying to make a cross check. There's a nice fall will be the ones left to right. They're going to cross here. All right? Yeah. Okay. In fact, they're going to get plus one to this check because I'm going to do the cross here order. So one fails and it's the middle one, this one. So the others make a tactical move of two, of 10. Do you mind moving those for me, sir? Except we'll obviously reorientate ourselves to face that way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And this guy is stuck. But not out of command because he gets stuck in the Not out of command. Alrighty. These three cars. This is line of sight blocking forest, so that's yeah. going to cause me a problem. So I think they're going to have to try and cross as well. Cross here again. We're all good. Um, these guys, then they're going to move this way. So they're going to be like this. Oh, so I move those trees. Oh, that, yeah, that will get him. So he can go a bit further along. Here we go. That's that movement. They're not moving. They're going to dig in. 
And so is the command team. The HQ here. So pass, they're dug in. These, they're dug in as well. Uh, that's my movement phase. Yep. And my movement orders. So shooting phase. Yep. Shooting phase. I'm going to start with the uh, Billy half tracks at the back because there's one real gun there and then some machine guns. So the 250 half track with the 3.7 centimeter moving rate of fire of one. So from this vehicle to there, am I making a, am I crossing the obstacle? That one? Yeah. No, no, the one with the bigger gun. Yes, you are. Yeah. So I'm hitting you on fours, is it? I can't read that from over here, mate. He's uh, hit on four plus. Four plus. Sorry. Uh, that's a hit. I have an anti tank power of six, and you have a side armor of zero. Zero. Well, you might roll six and get a glancing blow. No. No. I now need to make a five power check, though, but you are bailed out. Yeah. Five power is four up. Oh, it's a beauty. She's brewed up, sir. Right. So. Uh, oh, we got the lovely tissue. Yes, we'll get that in a moment. Now, with transports, I've got a lot of people uh, spread yeah. between the five. Um, so off screen, we decided that because you take a half track out, you're going to kill. I'm going to roll to kill. Yeah, one infantry unit, one uh, bazooka unit, mm -hmm. and either or a mortar or a 50 cal, depending on the dice roll. But you get to make infantry yeah. saves for them. So, do you want to roll for. And that's 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 just how they're spread out among his yeah. among his vehicles. It's quite complicated. Um, so roll for the rifle team. Rifle team is dead. Roll for the zuka team. He's dead. Roll for the specialist team. He's not dead, so we didn't need to worry about what it was. Oh, but you need to bail it out. Yeah. Uh, so one or two. It was a machine gun. A uh, once upon machine gun. Five six. It was the mortar. It's a machine gun. So one machine gun. Uh, you, the machine gun bailed out. Yeah. Yeah. And the other two guys are deed. Okay, and the machine guns from this thing, I've only got an anti-tank power of six, but they do have 12 shots between the four of them. Uh, have I counted this up wrong? Six, eight, 10. Yeah, I've got myself 11 dice. Oh no, there's one. I've got 12 dice, that's a better idea. So we're hitting on fours. With the machine guns. This is still from the cars firing at yeah. the half track teams. Uh, and fives were hits. So they're hits. But um, armor penetration is two. So you've got five saves to make. Yeah. But I'm only going to pen you if you roll a one. I'm only going to roll to pen you if I roll a one. Uh, you're all fine. Yeah. There you go. That was that. So that was the um, infantry carriers. Then we've got the three with the 75 mil. So they're going to have to shoot across the hedge as well, aren't they? Yep. Now, because that lead one is destroyed. So uh, moving rate of fire. Uh, so they're going to hit on fives. No hits. And then the uh, light armoured cars with the two centimetre. They have a moving rate of fire of two. But well, there's only two of them. This one's actually just a machine gun armed. Yeah. I'll shoot it. I assume there's some kind of radio guys in there or something. So these are shooting straight on though. So these are going to hit on fours. Is that right? Yep. Two hits. And this has got an anti-tank power of five. But this is the front. So you've got one armor on the front of you. Yeah. So one glances and one pens yeah okay so the glance is not bail and the pen is bail all right yeah and then there's a machine gun in the final car in that squad which gets three hits you've got a front armor of one haven't you so i can only bail you if you roll a one here i think is that right yeah Got a chance to bail you if you roll a one. So you've got three armor saves to make on the bailed out one. 
Ooh, if I get a six here, that's a double bail. Yeah. No, it's not a double bail. All right, that's the end of my turn, mate. Yep. Because my artillery cannot fire because it counts as moving in turn one. Yes. Right. So. <sighs> These guys are already out. Uh, use your lovely ad hoc ruler. Mm. Is it four inches or six for infantry? I forget. I'm going four because I just want to get them out of the way. And then they're followed up by the rest. The That's us having killed a couple of guys. Yeah. There's still this many left. I mean, what, what's, what is that about? Huh? How is that fair? Yeah. And I should have read uh, the one bailed out. Three. And no, not a remount for the. And there was no, there was no unit morale or anything no. like that. Now armored transports continue to operate as an independent unit, right? And they've got to stay. They've got to stay close to the mother unit. I don't think they do. Because I think I looked this up before. Yeah. I think this happened. The, 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 these guys are. So that one's burning. That one's bailed out. Yeah. And the rest are turning their guns to meat. Turning their guns to meat. Yeah. I will get some fire fluff for that. Yeah. It's just, I'm, I'm, we'll just wait when the when the cameras are, when we finish yeah. the turn, I can go and get it. It's elsewhere, unfortunately. Or a slight oversight. Uh, I don't bother moving that lot. I just forget that they exist. You want to chance it with some cross checks? Uh, not, not this turn. They're just going to move up. Yeah. Yeah. And they're going to sit there. Okay. You didn't even want to just line them all up along the hedge so they can all shoot over it. I'll do that. And they got loads of movement if they're not doing anything yeah. else, right? Yeah. Uh, and now, all of my unit commanders can act as spotters for my indirect artillery. So my HQ team. Going to try and spot in. Isn't your HQ team mounted in the vehicle? Yes. Does the vehicle have the forward observer role? No. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you would have deployed him on foot, I don't mind you making that change. Uh, they'll get out next turn. That's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. It's... Oh, we, we've got the meet and engagement problem anyway. Yeah. I don't think you could fire your artillery either way. But you definitely want to get yeah. him out now while he's still yeah. in the movement phase. Right. So three of my four bazookas that are left can fire at your half tracks. Moving rate of fire is one from bazooka teams. Boo! It's plus one because they're slow firing though. Plus one hit for being slow firing. I knew there was a problem with yeah. moving. I was so cocky there as well. I was like, <laughs> yeah, well, you might just find that's not going to work. Yeah. Right, so um, you're just hitting on fives, right? Yeah. How many Zookas? Four. And have they got range? Yes, all of them. Oh, sorry, three of the four, because this one's at this end. I'd put in. What is it? It's eight inches or something, is yeah. it? It's not huge. No, but it is, it is. Yeah, I can imagine. Some, I could just, I could see that model at the far end. Yeah, that, look, right? yeah, it's three of the four, because you killed one. Right. So that's one hit. Uh, yeah. And you've got an enormous uh, anti tank pa factor, right? Ten. Ten. Yeah, okay. Which one were you aiming at? The nearest one. Cool. There's one with a bigger gun, that's Oh, one. yeah, so I can get But he doesn't have machine guns, though. Yeah, but the machine gun is what I want to get rid you of. You want to get rid of, yes. Boom in that one. Boom in that one. Okay, so... Uh, I fail my armor save, because yeah. I cannot get ten. Fire power check. Mate. Ooh, boom! Boom. Now, I've got one guy in there, or two... If I'm unlucky, five or six, there's two guys, because I've only got five yeah. teams in mine. No, nope, there's one team in there, and it makes a three-up save. It's fine. Now. So, I boomed your half-track. Now the rest of the unit's going to carry on firing at your half-track. Yeah. But that's only the 230 cows, because they can do something. Yes. Moving rate of fire of two. That's six and a five. So with a six and a five, you've got a pair of hits. Yeah. You've only got a five power of two, of two or an anti-tank rating yeah. of two. 
and I do have a front armor mighty one. So, if I roll a one, you could bail me. There's no ones there. We're good. Now, as we understand it, those rifles can't shoot at that infantry base because at the point when that yeah. unit fired, there was no infantry base yeah. to shoot at. My infantry have fired, but I've still got the half tracks behind mm. them that could shoot at them, but I think the infantry's moved, so we've not... Yeah, as, as I understand it, you can fire over stationary infantry, Yeah, but I don't think you can shoot over moving infantry. If we're wrong, let us know. We haven't yeah. fought with this much infantry <laughs> ever before. Um, and the half tracks. And the half tracks. So, can't fire with my mortars. I've moved over there. I've moved over there. There's no reserves. Right, that was a nice, easy, I wouldn't say it was an easy turn. <laughs> Alright, let's roll on to round two. Right, well, as we go into round two, uh, things, things are looking interesting. Obviously, not much happened back here. A few foxholes were dug. As we pan round over to the far side of the board, taking up, the American taking up a very strong position there with their half-tracks. Infantry still on board, though, interestingly. Mortars at the back still unpacking their sandwiches. We're thinking, maybe this is the turn we're going to fire. Yeah. Um, but here's where it all happened, right? American infantry have all bailed out, rushed forwards, their own half tracks and, and poised to fire over the top. German much smaller force attacking across the field here with all of these light vehicles in support firing. Now, interestingly, we're within four inches here. But they're transports, and I don't think transports count for capturing objectives. We'll, uh, if it really matters, we'll have to see. But certainly there aren't many Americans within four inches. There's a couple of bases. Could be some liberal use of the mistaken target rule uh, this game. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, so from the top then, this bailed out remounts, reserves, all those kind of things. None of those things are in play. You also check for objective control. I need to start the turn. I need to finish a turn on the in control of an objective that I started the turn in adjacent to. Yeah. Yeah. So if I clear you off the objective and I started within within range of the objective, then I'm going to have done it, which should make for a really short turn. I think that's how this works. Uh, we might have to look at that in a little bit more detail. So we're getting into the movement phase. Don't think I've got any movement to do. I think that that's a fairly reasonable... Uh, Presumption there. Well, maybe the HQ team should do some movement. Maybe the HQ team should do some movement because otherwise nobody's firing any artillery because nobody can see anything. They can see something. I'm going to move the HQ team. Despite them having dug themselves some foxholes, the HQ team is going to go and check out what's in this abandoned car because they've heard they have some chickens. Arr. Chicken sandwiches. So that's the command team having moved. Those guys are all going to stay still, uh, and the infantry then are going to debuss. So my infantry, out they come. So, it's an eight inch tactical move, so they can move some ways down there. But I want them all within four inches of that, but not in front of their own line of fire. Yeah, something like that. That makes sense. All right. Cool. There we go. Uh, this vehicle is going to try and cross. Oh, it needs to. It doesn't need to, does it? And this infantry team can see right. All right. There. Yeah, it doesn't need to. You can still shoot over there. So I'm against it. Does that make sense? Yep. Right. Um, so shooting phase. Is artillery a separate phase to um, rifle f direct fire? No, there's no particular order. No? No. Okay. Just choose and a unit and fire. Dig in. Do I do that in the move phase? In the... I think I have to do that instead of shooting, don't I? Dig in's in the movement phase, yes. Okay, so my infantry over there are going to dig in. That was a good time to not roll a terrible, terrible roll. So they've got foxholes, because there's a lot of bullets in front of them. 
All right. Um, so we're going to try and spot for ourselves over there. Yep. On the half track, so ranging in first attempt. Five. That's going to do it, right? Yep. You, you're within the tall terrain thing, so that's plus one, but that's still going to do it. Because uh, the skill level is decent for these guys. So I rotate my guns to face. I'm going to put it down on the middle one. So if you want to take hold of that, down she goes. Five vehicles under the template. Yep, with the terrain. So they are, it's a, it's a four gun battery, so it's just standard numbers, and their hit on is four, right? Yep. Hit on four. Four hits. The anti-tank power of this is relatively low. Anti-tank power in artillery mode is three. Top armor zero. Top armor zero. So you got four dice to roll. Uh, two passes, two fails. The two fails, I'll make the five power check. I should have checked, stayed on there. Two's not going to do it, I don't think. Oh, so close. <laughs> I've rolled a pair of twos and it's three. All right, so, so we've got a copper build over there. From here, these still don't have a target or anyone to range in for them because this guy moved. So we're over to the armoured cars. The 250 scout troop. Now then. Now then. I think we really, really, really want to dig a zig R, right? So I think that's how it is. So the 250 um, transports, there's three of them there with machine guns. So that's uh, German machine guns on these cars are 4-4, four, four, I think. 4-4. Four, four. So uh, holding and moving. So that's yeah. 12 shots. The pack gun will fire at one of the half tracks. 12 shots, hitting on fours. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. That is exactly half, six. See, I'm just happy with average numbers, mate. <laughs> now, um, you're supposed to assign these. Yep. Um, so you have to put the one on the one I'm shooting at, which is the one nearest to the objective. The others you can put wherever you want. So you can choose to have them all off the back row if you want, so that you're not in danger of losing the objective. Yeah? Yeah, so they're all off the back. bazooka on the end, I don't want me needing that, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you just pick them up and make the saves. This is the big one. You made it. Dead. Made it. Dead. No, okay, so two units down, and the pack gone, Ooh, to hit the, no, that missed. That was those. The 7.5 centimeters. It's this infantry we've got to kill before it digs in, isn't it? So they're gonna take their, they're gonna shoot the infantry as well. Are they? Yeah, they've got to. I'm going to clear this infantry out to win the game. Yeah. All right. So, two shots stationary, hit on fours. Five hits. Okay, so Zucker on the end. Nope. Gun squad. No. Oh. Gun squad. Yeah. Round team. And 50 cal, or 30 cal, sorry, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, all good. Yep. Yeah. That's those. And then we lastly we get to the this little armor car group. So there's a machine gun team. Again, fire at the infantry. So machine gun group. There's two hits. And the two centimeter cannon get three shots halted, so that's six between the other two. Oops. 
That's another one hit. So three hits total. And we'll have to shoot at this end, right? Presumably. Yep. So, ferret cow, ferret cow, and HQ team. Right, HQ team. Ferret cow. Uh, not a ferret cow. Right. On the plus side, you've still got more than three teams. Yep. So yeah. they're not they're not going to run. They are pinned down though, because they definitely took more than 15 hits. Well, that didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped. We didn't kill the unit that I needed to, to, to claim <laughs> victory. Um, so we're going to roll on into, uh, what are you going to get at round two, sir? I'm going to get around round two, yeah. You're going to get around round two. Okay. So. He's going to jump out, he's going to just crack out the way just a little bit. We'll have some spotters. Right, bowed out. This one. Ooh. Motivation, isn't it? Five plus. Oh. Oh, sorry, four plus. And the two over here. One's back. And what about the pin down infantry? Yeah. Four plus. Yeah. Now I can tell you that empty transports don't count. I'm not sure that full ones no. do either. No, but I want to get the machine guns in their position to give some. Oh right. Okay. So as they fall, only that one crosses. Right here. So gets himself in position. Yeah. And then it's just stick. So we still can chuck. I've got to move out of the way so I can. Well, it's just if you move, you're not gone to ground. You're so much easier to hit. But then if you shoot, you're not gone to ground. I've got to shoot, so... Yeah? yeah. Well, I didn't. I dug yeah. fox holes instead. Yeah, but I'm, I'm defending. I've got to get you out of here, so... Right. I'm calling in the zookas and the guns, and we're going to give you some grief. Righty-ho. So, actually, because their transports, they disappear, don't they? Rather than... I'll be back. So, over here, yeah, and it's a bit frosty, they're all... You mean there's more of these bros? Yep. Yeah. I mean, look at the size of that for a single unit. Imagine, it is nearly 20 points though, isn't it? Yes, Nine, 19 points for one. 19 points. That's a lot for a unit. Yeah. But you get a lot in it. Now they've got out of the way, I'm going to do four cross checks. Or, or five. Oh, one's so bailed. Five, yeah. Okay, crossing is not working out for us today, is it? No. Somebody got across. The nearest one to get across. Yeah. And these will have just come round. Now, right. if you played the order cross here, you'd cross on a through. You, you get plus one to the cross checks, yeah. I believe, so another one would. You didn't do anything else, you might as well have used yeah. the movement order. Yeah. If I'm misremembering that, please do tell me. Um, yeah. we're not, we don't use the movement orders other than blitz. Most of the time, As yeah. much as we should. Yeah. I'll leave that on top of And I believe cross here is just plus one across yeah. checks. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to start with my mortar team. Your mortar team? Yeah. I've got to give this infantry some... Your mortar team. I've got three. Those mortars, you're going to range in, and that HQ is the one doing the spot yes. team. Right, I see. Yeah. All right. So, you range in on the first. Yes. <laughs> uh, did, I give it, did you have the template? You do. Oh, look at that. It fits everybody. It's got this. Yeah, I've got to point the arrow at the direction, haven't I? So I can't do the. can't do a sneaky twin. No, no, no. So. Three, four infantry bases in your HQ. Yeah, five, five infantry. And. They're hitting force. Artillery doesn't yeah. care about concealment on the ground. 
think it was a bat foxhole though, fortunately. Right, shall I just it's roll? a three gun battery, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm counting your bases first. <laughs> so. so they're the three regular ones. That's two hits. Yep. I'll make inf infantry saves and make them both. Yep. And you're not brutal? No. Uh, no. No. I think it's guns over 100 mil. Yeah. Brutal. Okay. And then you would do, there was another hit roll to make against the command team, separately. You only roll four hit dice, not five. Did oh you? yes, I did, yeah. And did you hit the command team? Yes, you did. Did I make the save? Yes, I did. Right. There you go. What was that? Now. Now. Three thirty cows. Three thirty cows? Yeah. One, two, three. Firing at. You're not firing through your own units again, are you, Mike? No, because I've moved to the side, so they can they're firing across yeah. mainly at this base. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these are hitting on concealed and gone to ground sixes. Yeah. They're not concealed fives. Do you want to roll again? Because they moved. Yeah. And they're not gone to ground. They moved and they dug foxholes. Yeah. They hit on fours. <laughs> My bad. Because there's, there's different statuses, aren't there? All right. Yeah. That's very different, isn't it? Yes. Six. Yeah. Okay. So um, I've got four. I've got to make infantry saves, and then if I pass them, you make fire power checks. Yeah. Because I've got bulletproof cover. If if I fail them. So I fail one. And is it, if it's a 30 cal, it'll have a 6 up 5 power. Because that's what rifles and machine guns have. Oh, my. Yep, 6 up for my 30 cal. So just the one? No. <clears throat> okay, but you did get 5 hits, so they are pinned down. We'll find that pinned down. Yep. Moved, moved, fired, fired. Infantry now. They're infantry. So. We've got one 30 cal left. We've got three bazookas. You only get three dice with the 30 cal. Is that because it's moving? Yeah. It's because it's moving. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's why it's two. Two dice for 30 cals, three dice for bazookas, and three infantry bases. And your infantry bases only get one dice? Yeah. Because you put your 30 cows on separate stands. Yes. Right. So your, your firepower is yeah. distributed differently. Right. So the, the Zookas firing at the cars? Yes. The guys? Because they're your transport, so they're technically the same unit, aren't they? So for infantry firing at infantry, bazookas at the, their transports. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, bazookas. One shot, slow firing plus one because they've moved. Right, so yeah, there's one hit there. Yeah. Uh, you've got a massive anti tank rating compared to that, so yeah. fire power check. Boom. Yeah, boom. Uh, fire fluff is at your end, is it? I love the fire fluff. It's you're doing all the work this term. I'm, yeah. I'm, got, I'm actually sat down now and you're like, well, I'm almost breaking a sweat. Is it you've gone for the one with the gun? Oh no, it's another machine gun, isn't it? You want a machine gun yeah. one? I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, I need the machine guns. Okay. I think you do. Yeah. yeah. And as we discovered last time, the 30 cal can, so he's going for the tanks as well. No, he's not. He's going to go for the infantry. Yeah, so I can roll all five together, can't I, if I go for the infantry? Yeah. Uh, so they hit on fours, just straight fours. Yeah. Yeah, so then infantry save, make them up. Yep. Well. Mm. And that concludes round two. Two over. Two. Right, well here we are in what is now round three, right? Delayed and scattered reserves be coming in. Uh, the artillery has started firing, mortars still not really involved, and the command team here moved up. Over here, the American second platoon is like, them guys really got screwed over by not getting out of their vehicles, let's do that now. And they're just totally occupied, dominated that space. 
Your motor started firing, didn't they? Yes. They've, they ranged in now on my infantry, but we've got up, we've dug ourselves some small holes in the ground that we're hiding in. And this is where it's all happening now. The question is, again, I'm starting to turn within four inches. If I can clear out those American infantry, then I end the turn in control of the objective and win the game. If not, we're all for delayed and scattered reserves. So shall we start with that? Yep. I've got one unit. And I get one dice. It's round three, isn't it? Yeah. So I get one dice, and on a five or six, I'm going to get a unit. But it's not a five or six. Which is a shame, because I've got some four pans of fours, would be really handy right now. Movement phase. Still not concerned over here. I am concerned over here, but I'm not worried over here. Let's, uh, let's put it that way. These guys don't need to move. I do need to unpin my infantry, which that was a. Are you happy? It was the five. Was the five, five yes. Yeah. I realised it's like in the middle of a load of other dice there. Yeah. No, yeah. I'd re-roll it if you weren't happy. All right. So I've unpinned my infantry. Uh, so let's do the shooting thing again. All right. Let's start with that. So here again, we have got. We'll start with. Start with the armoured cars shooting at the infantry. So we've got four shots from the 250 with a machine gun, which is three hits. And we've got six shots with the auto cannons, which is for more hit, because you're, you're still moving, aren't you? Yeah. So a total of six hits. Because you know what Foxhole's bulletproof yeah. combat, firepower stuff doesn't matter. That is five saves. <laughs> there you go. But you did lose one. Yeah. I mean, we, we should have done that differently, shouldn't we? But it doesn't yeah. matter. I'll, we learn. We learn. Right. The six. Six, guy, six shots from these. Firing into the infantry again. Hit on fours is one. Infantry unit. Well, I aimed at the front one. Oh, right. You, so you've mistaken timing it to the yeah. back there, have you? Yeah, it'd be a fair cow anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then I move on to my infantry. It looks like I'm going to have to use my own infantry on this, and I don't want to. I don't want to shoot. Right, uh, so I've got one machine gun, four shots, and one pack. The pack's got a fire at the truck, hasn't it? All right, the machine guns. Two hits. Uh, They'll be the two nearest bases, yeah. yeah. They're both deed. Ooh. And the shot of the car is a miss. Right. If I assault them, I'd have had to have moved. So that's that. Um, German Panzer Grenadiers, I think are two dice a base. Anyway, stationary three. So I've got five bases there. That's gonna be 15 dice. We're gonna shoot ya. Here we go. Um, and I'm going to pick up five misses and uh, three misses and roll. Because, so that's that hits, because I only have 12 dice. And that's another hit. So that's six hits. So it's two, two, one, one. Yeah. No, you'll need to do these separately, won't yeah. you? So two for the front base. He's dead. Two for the bazooka. He's dead. And one each for the last two. Dead. And dead! Oh my days! How many ones? Four. Four ones out of six dice. Yeah. I hate to be the harbinger of bad news, Mr. Woolly Mike. Thank you for the game! Thank you! Hello! If you're enjoying our Flame to War content and considering getting one of the starter sets or starter armies, why don't you think about buying one from our online web store at modelingforadvantage.co.uk? Thank you.